What's going on out here is a kind of a total renovation of the municipal wastewater plant. The original plant out here started operation in the early 60s, I believe it was 1962. We had the last major renovation in the mid 1980s. We knew the facility was getting old, so we kind of started this process back in about 2014 or 2015. Found a consulting engineering firm, Bolton and Mink, we started working with. Now some of the uh, existing facility is, is being reused and repurposed, but there's a lot of new construction going on out here. We're changing processes. Since this plant was went into operation in the 1960s, we were a trickling filter treatment facility and now we're converting to an activated sludge facility. It's been quite a ride, you know, obviously it's taken a while to get to this point, but uh, you know, the, the challenge I put out to Bolton and Mink was, okay, you need to build a new facility on roughly the same footprint and the existing facility has to continue to operate. And, you know, kudo to Jeremy Braxman, the superintendent and the staff out here, they've been able to do that. Essentially the project's about nearly 90% done right now. Uh, it doesn't look that way, there's a lot of cleanup work to do. We started splitting the flow between the old process and the new process right around Christmas time this past year. And then toward the end of February, we had things up and running in the new liquid portion of the process where we are currently diverting all of the flow to the new process right now. It was a trickling filter process. There are a number of different ways that, that you can treat wastewater. Trickling filter would be more of a fixed film where you, you sprinkle the influent sewage over a fixed media and then the bacteria, the bugs that live on the media, they digest the organic material in there. Nobody's building trickling filter plants like that anymore. In fact, when we did the renovation here in the mid-1980s, uh, at that same time we were building the industrial wastewater plant north of J JBS. And that's an activated sludge plant. The plants are the same size. This takes a lot less land with a activated sludge facility than a trickling fil filter facility. So, uh, and it's the modern, it's, it's the more modern technology. It gives you a lot more diversity of what you can and cannot do. I'm really hopeful that by, you know, the fall of this year, things are gonna look a whole lot different. Everything in the center area there, essentially we're gonna have a west end and an east end and everything in the middle gets demolished and is going to go away. So there's going to be a lot of green space there, which uh, is also going to serve us for any future expansion that we might need. When we bid this in June of 2021, we had two bidders. Uh, the general contractor is Gritter Construction out of Buffalo. The contract is about $26.2 million. We did receive a uh, loan from the Clean, uh, Clean Water Revolving Fund through the state of Minnesota and it's administered by the Minnesota Public Facilities Authority. That's a 20 year loan at 1% interest. I'm sure that you know our customers have seen their sewer rates increase. I anticipate we're gonna have you know some rate increases. We're gonna try to keep them reasonable, but we'll see them regularly over the next couple of years. But we, we're building a facility here that should serve the community for the next 40 to 50 years.